Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you a really cool app that will keep track of your smartphone's temperature and also prolong the life of your battery. Stay tuned. Okay, so you're probably asking yourselves, why do I want to know and why do I care about my smartphone's temperature? Well, if you've ever been gaming on your phone or using the hotspot feature or just using it for a prolonged period of time, you've probably noticed it getting warmer or maybe even hot to the touch, and that's not good whatsoever, especially for long periods of time. It can make your phone not work properly. It may shut off or reboot apps may not work either and eventually over a prolonged period of time it will actually ruin the life of your battery and that's a very very expensive thing to replace on a smartphone especially in this day and age so battery temperature actually keeps track of uh, your cell phone's battery basically so look for battery temperature in google play this is the one that i use uh, there's probably a few of these apps out there but this one works the best for me install and open and we can actually start tracking the temperature of the battery. So we'll click on start, and this will actually uh, run in the background a little bit. It's a very little app though, so it's not too much memory being used when the apps are running. And we notice here, of course, in the top menu, we pull down a little bit. Here we have the battery temperature. Right now it's about 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Of course, we can click stop to stop tracking right there. And also in the top bar, next to the clock, it has a temperature there as well. So always easy to spot what your temperature is very easily without going into the app. So it's kind of a cool little feature. Click on the cog wheel here for settings. Of course, you can change temperature unit from Celsius to Fahrenheit if you want to for that. You can also launch the app at startup so when your phone boots up, it kicks this app into gear and opens it up for you automatically. You can also get notifications here as well when your phone or battery gets too hot. So you can click allow or of course not to allow. I do allow notifications here, especially if I'm using my phone for hot spotting or gaming. I want to keep track of my smartphone's temperature. You can also do uh, different sizes here for the icons, medium or large. I'll go with large. It's usually good for me. And of course, a warning temperature you can also set for yourself. I put it at 100. You may want to lower that to maybe 95 or something like that for you, but probably 100 is probably a good warning temperature to keep at. All right. And other. You can also remove there's some ads in the app. It's a free app, of course, to use. If you want to buy the apps, only 99 cents. So not too bad to remove the apps. And you support the developer too. So it's kind of a win-win situation there. All right. So they also give you some advice for overheating your phone. Close it out of the ad there. So here we go. So which battery temperature is considered normal? And that's kind of an important thing to know. The temperature when your phone is charging and the display is off. How to correctly choose the warning temperature set it at two degrees more than the normal temperature so that's kind of a good little note as well overheat while charging remove the phone case while charging is a good little tip because when your phone case is on it's actually trapping heat there's no way for the phone to actually get rid of the heat because now your cell phone case is actually trapping it in so remove the case when charging it's probably a good little tip and direct sun exposure obviously too now, if you're in the car or outside walking around in the sunlight, even if it's not warm out, but just in the sunlight alone can cause your phone to overheat. So keep your phone in the shade. Too high of a brightness. So you probably wanna keep automatic brightness on your screen. Android here, pretty easy. Click on settings and display brightness level here. Of course, you can dim it yourself manually. Obviously having a full brightness here will drain the battery and also cause your phone to warm up. So keep in mind about that. What you wanna do is actually use adaptive brightness. So this will actually adapt your screen's brightness to the environment around you. So we'll select that on. That will also keep our phone battery lasting a little bit longer too, and not just prevent it from overheating. All right, also increased network usage, basically downloading, watching YouTube, uploading stuff. The more you use the phone, the more it's gonna work, the hotter it's gonna get. So you can actually turn on battery saver to uh, prevent yourself from using too much network. And obviously here, old and worn out batteries here, turn on battery saver for that once again too. So some good advice and tips here in the app itself. It's kind of a cool little feature of the app. 
And that is pretty much it here for battery temperature. So again, not even being in the app here, we can also see the temperature of our phone next to the clock on the upper left, it's actually 82 right now. If we pull down, we get a better view of that right there. If we go into an app here as well, and we use the phone's processor a little bit more, do some more network usage, obviously the temperature will rise a little bit. So keep track of your temperature of your phone, adjust your phone to those certain settings, and that the brightness is really good. Keep track of that because you want your cell phone battery to last longer that way your cell phone can last longer for you. So I do highly recommend using this app. It's very small, lightweight, so it runs in the background and you have very, very important information at your fingertips here, your battery temperature. Let me know in the comments below if you actually use this app or not and what your phone's temperature may be. Hit that like button for the episode and subscribe. I'm Eddie Ray for the Tech Eddie Show. We'll see you back here next time. Thanks for watching.